Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today, in this episode of Need Preparation, we're going to be dealing with the second chapter of the Grade 11 Syllabus of Biology in the CBSE curriculum. The name of this chapter is Biological Classification. And in this particular chapter, you will learn about how we classify organisms based on their features, and we'll learn the top tier of classification. And this area of study is quite extensive, and therefore a lot of questions asked in previous years of medical exams have, have been taken from this chapter. So therefore, it's imperative that anyone who is preparing for these exams take a look at this chapter very closely. So in this particular video, we are going to look at some of these questions and answer them in detail. Let's look at our first question. This one is asked from 2016. The primary, the primitive prokaryotes responsible for the production of biogas from the dung of ruminant animals include methanogens, eubacteria, halophiles, thermoacidophiles. So let's look at each of the options. Option D says thermoacidophiles. The word file, the sub, the suffix file means in love with. So that means that the bacteria, which are known as thermoacidophiles, can survive in hot as well as acidic environments. So they're not responsible for production of biogas, so option D is incorrect. Similarly, if we look at halophiles, halo refers to salt prefix. So halophiles are bacteria which are present in extremely saline environments. So therefore option C is also incorrect. So let's look at eubacteria. Eubacteria is the subtype of bacteria which is considered to be true. So that means they're more developed kind of bacteria. And uh, here the question is asking for primitive prokaryotes. So therefore, option B, eubacteria, would also be incorrect. The correct answer is option A, methanogens. You could also arrive at the answer easily by looking at the question itself. It says primitive prokaryotes, so that means it has to be a part of our key bacteria. So that already limits your search down to methanogens, halophiles, and thermoacidophiles. And it says responsible for production of biogas. Biogas uh, is mostly made out of CH4, which is methane. So therefore, option A, methanogens, is the correct answer. Let's look at the next question. Which one of the following statements is wrong? Eubacteria are also called false bacteria. Phycomycetes are also called algal fungi. Cyanobacteria are also called blue-green algae. Golden algae are also called desmids. So, which of these statements is wrong? Remember, we have to find the wrong statement. That would be our correct option. Option D. Desmids, which are a particular kind of protozoan, are also called golden algae. This statement is true. So that makes option D incorrect. Now what about option C? Cyanobacteria are also called blue-green algae. This is quite com So everybody knows that cyanobacteria is called blue-green algae, so therefore this statement is true, which means that the option C is incorrect. Now what about option B? Phycomycetes are also called algal fungi. Well, they uh, so phycomycetes are the least developed of the fungi, so therefore they are also called as algal fungi. So it's the groups of phycomycetes that align themselves, that ally themselves with fungi in order to form, I mean, that ally themselves with algae in order to form lichens. So therefore, option B is true, which makes it incorrect. The incorrect option here, that means the incorrect statement here is option A. U bacteria are also called false bacteria. The prefix U means true. So therefore, 
eubacteria are also called as true bacteria. The reason being that eubacteria are more advanced and more developed than archaeobacteria. So therefore they are called true bacteria. So that's why this statement is false and that makes this option, option A, the correct answer for this question asked in 2016. Let's look at the final question of this episode. Again, this is asked from 2016. You can see the sheer volume of the questions would tell you that this chapter is extremely important. Which of the following statements is wrong, especially for viroids? So we're looking at the statements given which are wrong with respect to viroids. So A, they cause infections. B, their RNA is of high molecular weight weight, C, they lack a protein code, D, they're smaller than viruses. So let's look at each of the options. So A, they cause infections. This is true. Viroids do cause infections in some plants. So the statement is true, which makes the option incorrect. What about option D? They are smaller than viruses which is again a true statement because viroids are subviral particles. So therefore, option D is incorrect because the statement is true. Option C, they lack a protein coat. This is once again true because viroids are exclusively made of RNA, just RNA only. There is no protein or fat coating over the RNA. So that means option C is incorrect because the statement is true. That makes option B as the correct option because the statement their RNA is of high molecular weight has to be incorrect. The fact is that for viroids, their RNA is of low molecular weight. And it has to be because viroids are actually smaller than viruses. So since you can use the relation that viroids are smaller than viruses, so therefore their molecular weight ha the molecular weight of their dna of their rna has to be lower so that means option b is the correct option which it is the wrong statement for viroids among the following in this question which was again asked in 2016 so that concludes this episode of need preparation we hope you found this episode interesting while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Brain Blitz Audios. We have a lot of content on various exams. And if you want to check out specific topics of medical exams, then you can always hit the playlist, which is present for medical exams in the description box down below. Also, you can, you can hit the notifications icon so that you can get our latest updates regarding our videos. So... That's all, folks. Until the next episode, take care, stay safe, bye-bye for now.